Hey everybody, this is Total Gamer Junkie. I want to welcome you all back to my channel. So, I originally wasn't going to do a video about this, but then, you know, I decided, fuck it, why not? Let's do it, because a lot of people have been doing it. Now, when I originally heard about this, I was like, there's no way that I still don't believe that this is true, because it's so ridiculous. You know, like, the fact that they, it's a fifth season, but it's retconning everything else, it's, it's so stupid, and uh, I want to get into why that is. Now, I found out about this yesterday from a YouTuber named, uh, uh what was his name, GamerPercy456, that was it. Sorry, I <laughs> just forgot the name. But essentially, this game is meant to be a fifth season of The Walking Dead, and I did a little research of my own, just seeing what I could find. So, it's going to be called A Fatal Frontier, not Season 5, but it's meant to be Season 5, and it's meant to be changing the timeline of the story. So, it's not episodic, it's just one full game, like, like that Walking Dead... Um, what was it called? Saints or Sinners, how that was an episodic, that was just one whole game. You know, just like The Walking Dead Survival Instinct. The one that's in the, in the TV series universe, where you play as Daryl. So it's like those two games, just, just one full game. But it's meant to be about the same length as a normal Telltale game. And that really depends on what you consider to be a normal length, like, the New Frontier was the shortest one, really, in all, in all of the seasons, you could finish the episodes within an hour or an hour and a half, depending on how fast you did it, so, and we got some other stuff here, less focus on choices, so, you know, you can make dialogue options, but true narrative choices are not the focus, which means that, while you can talk to people, make some small talk, you can't de make life or death choices, determine who lives, who dies. And, and one of the things that's also weird is the game is appar apparently picks a specific timeline. So what that means is, because Kenny is going to be in this. So the ending is either going to be where Clementine goes to Wellington wh with Kenny, but only she and AJ could get in, so she and AJ stay at Wellington while Kenny leaves. Or, it's going to be where Kenny kills Jane, and Clementine takes AJ and leaves Kenny behind, you know? Because she, she's like, you're dangerous, Kenny, and it's like, I can't trust myself, myself or AJ to be around you, you know what I mean? And then, this is what's, I gotta say, what's stupid. Now, I never liked A New Frontier. It was a fucking disgrace. I've said this numerous times, which it is true. It's the worst one in the entire series. You can ask anyone. Everyone everyone has their difference on which game they like best, but I'm pretty sure everyone can agree that New Frontier is just god-awful with the story. Like, I never really gave a fuck about any of the characters because I had no reason to care for them. It was so bad, like... Season 2 had its, I'll admit, it had some moments where they could have done better character development, but ultimately, there were a few characters that I cared about. But, you know, I'm not saying Season 2 was a perfect game, but it, it was a hell of a lot better than New Frontier. Just like the final season had its problems with Episode 3 and 4, but it was slightly better than A New Frontier. So, the, what the story is meant to be is, you play as Javier and Kenny, and apparently you're going to be switching between the two, kind of like how uh, it is with Tales from the Borderlands, with with Fiona and Reese. So, so pretty much everything, like you, what your choices were in, in A New Frontier, doesn't matter as Richmond ends up being fallen, you know, like, to another gang or something. Like, I'm pretty sure it might have been Delta, Lily's group, but I I've always had this suspicion that, th that Lily's group was the one who attacked Richmond, but as well as um, the McCarroll Ranch, but I have no proof that, well, there is no proof, but I'm pretty sure it was them. 
So anyways, Richmond is destroyed, it's gone. Um, Javier is the only survivor, or the characters such as Kate, Gabe, David, Conrad, and they're all dead. And that nurse lady, sh she's dead too. What was her name? Um, the fucking Judas, the one who stabs you in the back, I forget. Um, and it, yeah, but anyways, they all die. And so, Javier, he's... Like, got no one, so he decides to find the ranch Clementine went to, which is Mikhail Ranch. And he ends up running into Kenny, and their paths cross, and now they are both following leads to find Clementine. And that the enemies of this game is meant to be a cult of older members of A New Frontier. And they apparently were kicked out because they had some crazy ideas. They were like, I don't know what it is, but... They were rad radicalists or something, that, or they they were kind of like Joan in a sense, or something worse than what Joan was, how she was raiding other settlements to help Richmond, something like that, I'm not sure. So, so anyways, these people are hunting down Javier and Kenny, and this is meant to be, and what's interesting, I found this part interesting, is a lot, a lot of the game is based off the original script for season 3. And I guess like I don't believe this because it's so stupid like like what exactly is canon then what isn't canon? Honestly, I would have loved for this like this recon, I would have loved it to completely change everything, have Clementine not meet the new frontier at all, make your choices what what your endings were in season two make them actually matter, and don't have Kenny and K Jane killed off in a stupid way because I always I always hated that like originally Kenny was going to kill himself which was so stupid so if I'm thankful for anything it's that his death wasn't that he killed himself but he died trying to protect Clementine or sacrificing himself to buy Clementine time to get AJ to safety along with herself but I gotta say I do feel bad for the people who like I like Jane I'll admit that but I gotta say like Alapur and Kenny like I choose Kenny I love Kenny he's my favorite character but the fact that she ended up becoming pregnant and hanging herself is so stupid like it, the reason it's stupid is because throughout the game throughout season two when you meet her she you can tell that she's smart, she's crafty, she can handle herself, she's independent, she's survived by herself for I don't know how many years, because I know season 2 is 2 years after season 1, but she had her sister with her who she ended up abandoning, so it's not stated, it's not stated how long she's been on the run for, but I would assume a few months, if not a year, not on the run, but by herself. And the fact that she was so, and the fact the game makes it that she was so stupid that she didn't have unprotected sex and then decides to hang herself. Oh my god, like, oh, fucking, it was such a disgrace, like, the game should have been completely, like, it shouldn't have even existed, because back then, like, Season season one is the best one by default, and then and then you, in my opinion the best games are season one, season two, the final season, and then a new frontier. But anyways, about this game, I don't believe it's true. This is this is too far fetched. Like I I do believe that season two of The Wolf Among Us, I do believe that is definitely happening a hundred percent. And there was apparently a leak that. Tales from the Borderlands Redux, which is meant to be season 2 or something, I'm not too sure. Or just a reimagining of season 1, like a remake with, or a HD remaster or something. I do believe that it could be either one of those. But The Walking Dead of Fatal Frontier, it's such bullshit, I don't believe it to be true. And honestly, let me know what, you, what your thoughts are in the comments below. Do you believe this is real or that this is not this is just a load of shit um and if it is real would you like to see it or wouldn't you let me know in the comments below
This is Total Gamer Junkie, signing off.